Holde. Wearing jersey number two, Desiree Wunea Cheng. Number three, Maria Dina Isabel Wong. Number seven, Madeline Irenea Madayag. Number ten, Katrina May Tolentino. Starting libero is number 16, Tony Rose Ponce. Head coach, Mr. Dante Alin Sunuri. Calling on our signal HD Spikers. Team captain wear jersey number three, Rachel Ann Dakis. At number one, Gladine Troncoso. Wearing jersey number two, Rosalind Doria. Number seven, Frances Senia Molina. Number 18, Marevic Melaine Meneses. And number 22, Maria Angelica Cayuna. Starting libero is number 14, Angelique Dionella. Head coach, Mr. Cesael Shaq De Los Santos. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. Now we are just about getting ready to start this first of our double header today. There's your starting lineup for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Good to see Des Cheng back on the court. Also, Bea de Leon, who we missed in that last game. Yeah, some health issues, mm -hmm. but they're healthy, they're 100 percent, and they're here. And of course, the rest of the squad there. And now with the starting lineup for Signal HD, uh, usual suspects. Let's see if uh, the Chai Troncoso is uh, starting today. She sometimes starts, sometimes does. doesn't. Yeah, but we'll see if Coach Shaq will be trying different combinations today. Like we said at the top of the coverage, this is a very important game for the Signal HD Spikers. They need to win this one. But we have a little score first today for Choco Mucho. She doesn't want to hear you say about, <laughs> talk about Signal. <laughs> On the back, that quick kill by Bea de Leon. <laughs> She's definitely feeling better. That good, that's good to know. And that's what they need. You know, if you're Choco Mucho, you want a good start. Mm -hmm. You know, if Dina Wong can get Bea de Leon, Maddie Madea, Involved right away, that would be a good sign for them. And that was a botch play in our free ball. The Tokomucho balls right back to the side of Signal. Meneses with a quick, nice dig. Oh, what a dig. Look at these liberos. One handed set. That's a, another free ball for Signal. Oh, still alive. Of course, the crowd enjoying a very early rally. And from also that cut shot. That was a hard fought point. Boy, we're just at one all, and our rallies are already shaping out to be long ones. Yeah. You know, props to the liberos there, Janela and Ponce. Yeah. Who is in the libero position right now, already hustling for that first point. Well, they need to sacrifice really their bodies, you know, what's on the line today. Well, that ball was on the line <laughs> inside, very much so. Nice uh, corner attack there, just really just kissing that corner of uh, zone five. That's a good point for Choco Mucho, Bea de Leon now with a serve. Well, it's pretty much the same attack as Troncoso earlier. They're trying to go cross. Yalcayuna. Giving it to Chai there, and that's off the block. Chai happy about that one. Well, you're, if you recall, Vicky, I mean, last conference, she would come off the bench, mm -hmm. but she would always, you know, pose as a spark plug for Signal. Right now, she's been starting a lot, so she's looking good for her Signal. Tied at two. Vanessa's with a nice serve, but that's a good reception by Des Cheng, and that was not quite in. That was beyond the yeah. antenna. Yeah, that's, that was too far, obviously. And you would expect, actually, maybe just to set it over mm. or try to keep it alive. We talked about Kat Tolentino at the top of the coverage as she goes up for that hit. Right there with a good dig. Cesc Molina was done by Ponce. 
Oh, wow. What a block. And back to mention how Signal is number two in blocks as usual, performing very well in that department. One more time on that solid block by Doria. Sam Corrales has a report for us. Say, hey, Sam. Definitely a do or die game for both teams if they want to stand a fighting chance this conference. Now, Kat Valentino tells me that their last game was de definitely a test of character and heart. And speaking of heart, it was Regine Arocha who really rose up to the challenge. And being part of the first six for the first time, she said it was a huge confidence booster to have that amount of trust from her coach and teammates. Naging magaan daw talaga yung feeling sa loob ng court in their last game because they all enjoyed now going up against an eager signal team. Coach Dante wants them to just trust his system on blocking and improve transition plays to convert better with higher efficiency. Back to you. Thanks for that, Sam. Yeah, reminding us about Rich Arocha and how she is a uh, another valuable cog just waiting in the wings. 13 points, double digits in that last game. I think she was also deemed player of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Regina Arocha. Well, anyway, she played so well. She was huge for Chocomucho. Well, this one is huge. That's a service ace for Chai Troncoso. Chai waking up at the right side of the bed today. Four points already. I'm sure she leads all scorers at this point. <laughs> she does. She does. Ah! And Noreen got jinxes. <laughs> <laughs> Commentary skirts, we always yeah. say. It happens. It's going to happen more, but really, you know, in, in uh, another coverage, there's so much volleyball going on now, which is such a delight for all of the fans out there. But we talk about how sometimes the way you perform in the game determines what kind of training you will do the day after. Yeah. Yeah. And if there's a lot of service errors, you will be spending a lot of time with your services. Oh, that one escapes Chai. Like, that's a point for Choco Mucho. This is a close one. Five serving six now. Yeah, off speed hit there. You can see a great set by Dina Wong and Tess Cheng coming off in sick bay. No. But uh, her fans, the Choco Mucho fans, must be happy. She's part of the starting lineup. Oof. Isa Morgan there with an ace. Raining aces today early in this first set coming from both sides. Well, it looked like it was going out, but the uh, Dockies want to keep it alive. Well, at least from our vantage point. Let's take a look at it one more time. It's such a... Yeah, it looked like it was gonna... Ang tansya siguro ni Rat, babagsak ito. Yeah. Overpass. And that one went over. Chance here. Doria just sends it to the side of Choco Mucho. Back set. Magdayag is blocked. Des Cheng timing it. And that's off the hands of Jen Cayuna. A point for Choco Mucho. And look who's got the lead. That's right. Des Cheng. Again. She looks like she's 100% and she's showing us there. Actually, she targeted Doria. Uh -huh. You normally you would target the smaller blocker, but she challenged the taller one and got the point. Isa Molde continuing to serve. And there's the service ace that we did not want to see. You never want to see a service ace. She had a couple of uh, good ones there. Service error, rather. <laughs> Pinap. Pampagana. <laughs> uh oh. She did get an ace. Yeah, she did. Yes. Oh! Oh, oh wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a great exchange. Alam mo, ang lalim ng dating ng bola, pero talagang sinubukan pa ni uh, di Chai to get it up. And we are at uh, eight points already. Technical timeout with Choco Mucho up by one. And that is Slice of Life starring Jack Janella. Look at these uh, pictures, look at these videos. 
I like the way it's edited. Very yeah. professional. Just seeing another side of Jack and the things that she does when she is not on the court. Ibang ibang. And she doesn't age, right? Ah. I mean, she doesn't age. I, I, I love seeing these things because really we're so used to seeing just them with her ponytail and her headband. And you know that there's so much more to Jack than meets the eye. Yep. Back to the game here. Eight serving seven. Chocomucho up by just one. Rad pushing the ball. Back to Chocomucho. There's Chen trying to go deep, but too deep. Yeah, we did see the follow too. She was beneath that ball. She didn't put enough top spin to get it in. We were talking about the situation that both teams are in. So a little bit better for Chocomucho, who are at 2-2 two and two right now. Signal is at 1-4 uh, one, uh, one and four for Signal, mm -hmm. and Signal really has to win. Because they said earlier that they will win if they don't win this one. That's it. I mean, that's uh, that's just their hopes of making it to the next round. But if you're Chocomucho, you also want to score a win? Because you also want to get in the way of uh, Nakis' down the line there. No, but uh, going back to my point, Joko Mucho is still in a precarious situation. It will still depend on how the other teams uh, carry on through the conference. But, you know, that's why you want to score the win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're, just, they're actually just one game... Ahead. Then, yeah, one, no, actually one game below the fourth spot. Okay, Let's yeah, see the fourth spot. Cherry, Cherry, yeah. Who's still alive? Mm -hmm. That is timing it. And she puts it over again. Valentino there with a the big. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, just reading Bea de Leon like a book. You see her celebration after that. Really, I mean, if that can bring her whole team together to play together here. And that one is really tough. I mean, you see the experience, the composure. After that, that botched play, you mm -hmm. know, she was she was getting a lot of touches there already, but the focus on Rad, because it's hard. That's zero tempo, eh, yung ginawa ni Bea de Leon. Yeah. Ang bilis na dating ng bola, huli pa rin. Yeah. And Bea de Leon makes up for that one really quick. Well, you like the way Dina Wong just set it back to her. Yeah. Get that point back for us. And that's trust for you. Yeah, and also you need to keep distributing, we always say, because, you know, the outside hitters have been getting a lot of sets, so it's about time to change things yeah. up. Back row attack. Nice try there by Ponce. Yeah, you like that set to Molina. Molina, throughout the years, we know that she's a prolific scorer. Uh -huh. Here so far in this conference, uh, a bit, you know, not her usual number, so yeah. you want to get her going today because, again, it's a must win. Really, the HD Spikers struggling in that department. They are number eight in uh, spiking all, all together as a team. And Ooh. as we take a look at that, nice dig by Donella, setting up the put away for Cess to give her the numbers that we are used to seeing, right? Yeah, and then the numbers that she needs to build uh -huh. her confidence. That's from the pipe. Nobody there. <laughs> exactly. No blockers. It's like hitting practice for her. Ooh, good oh, sir. good sir. But that's a nice reception by Molde. And this is going to be a chance ball for Signal. Gel. Looking for oh, a oh. ball. So that combination play. Flawless. Yeah, but we have to mention that the credit Nina won't keep that ball alive. But Signal right now is relentless. I'm out of mucho. A 6-1 run that we've seen uh, from Signal so far, getting them that four-point advantage. Earlier we were tied no, at the tactical timeout. Dikit na dikit. Ngayon medyo lumalayo ang signal. And if you're Coach Dante, 
What are you expecting from your girls now, as well, we heard? Yeah, I mean, they need to really, you know, clamp down on their defense. We know Coach Dante's system is really about blocking and defense because Signal just doing a good job in, you know, changing things up and setting to everyone. Yeah, it's really good distribution that we're seeing on the side of Signal and Angelica Yuna for that. And she is getting ready to serve here. Also, Jelka Yuna, known to have that killer serve. She ranks high mm -hmm. in the services department, at least in the in the past conferences. So, magahabul pa siya. Well, that's another good one, as you were saying yeah. that. Oh, wow, oh. but that's even better. Catolentino. Finally, she's on the scoreboard. Or was that, let's see that one more time. That was Catolentino. Yeah. Look at that set. Look at how yeah. far Dina Wong was. You got to credit Tina Wong there for really chasing that ball down and giving that perfect set to Kat Tolentino. Well, if you're Choco Mucho, you want, you're hoping that's a start of more points than Kat. Another chance here for Choco Mucho to set up. This is a broken play. Uh -huh. Easy over and a chance for Signal. Jelko Yuna takes a peek at the other side. Oh, you know, oh, it's oh, time to oh, oh. Yeah, and why not set up Chai from Koso? Yeah. She's, she has a hot hand. At least here in the first set. Yes, she does. Already six points for Chai. Signal with a five-point lead. Can you imagine? She used to come off the bench, and now she's leading you know, both teams in scoring. Yes. And it's good to see really how both uh, players, I mean, both teams, both coaches, are really exploring the options the, the, and just seeing how deep your bench can go. Yeah. But we also have to mention the off-season changes mm. in the side or in Signal's camp. So a lot of people are maraming saying, na oh, maraming na wala. that could be the reason why they're at one and four. Oh, says Molina. And we also know Signal from the past conferences. They really like that. Yeah. Ano, eh. So they're not going to But this time, they're not going to get the ball because they're not going to get the ball. We are at 16-11 in the second technical timeout. Signal in the lead. Alright, take note of these dates to watch Kilas Filipinas, August 25 or August 27, or and or August 29. Just mark your calendar to be entitled to watch the other game scheduled on that day at the Araneta Coliseum. So it's a twofer. Get your Kilas Day Pass now. Limited passes available. Bye now. 16 serving 11. Riri Meneses for the serve. Ponce taking care of that one. Isa Molde just rolls that ball over. Delta Yuna looked like she was looking for Rose Doria, but went to Chai, and Molina knows that good. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Signal knows who your first option is. Talking about Dina Wong, so defense clamping down on Catalentino there. And let's look at the situation for both these teams coming into this game. Chocomucha after that uh, five-set win against Army is buoyed by that, that, that result. And really, it was a confidence booster. On the other hand, Signal lost in three sets against F2. Yeah. So, talagang yun nga, wake up call. Wake up call. Oh. But it seems like, it seems like Signal, it woke up on the better side of the bed, yeah. so to speak, because uh -huh. they're the one who looks like they, you know, they look like they came off a win. Oh, Molina certainly looks like a winner there. And we know she is. Cesc Molina coming alive here. Already with five for Cigna. She's the other hot hand. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's a good sign for Cigna. Cesc Molina can't get going early on. 
Signal continues to serve here. Tokumucho still stuck at 12 points. Here's a chance. Oh, that one is a over ball. Over received there. And now Signal will set up again. Molina will get that ball. She goes deep in zone six. It's good. Yeah. And Signal's making it look so easy. You can see the blockers just, they were confusing. They, they, you see that? I mean, look at the defense yeah. right there. That, that's Jel Kayuna setting for you. We have a substitution now. Kate Verai coming in for the first time. And Jem Ferrer as setter now. Tolentino and uh, Dina Wong get to take a breather. I think that's a good substitution at hmm. this point. You're down by seven. Coach Dante obviously wants to change things. A little bit of scrambling on both sides here. And Adayan just with her. Uh, wits about her. <laughs> yeah, and, but the, you know, she's been quiet mm. up until this 13 to 19 score. So that she needs to get more aggressive or become more aggressive at the net. Yeah. She already has three points, so you know when she gets the ball, she knows what to do with yeah. it. And such an effective blocker. And really nice to see her back. And you know, we missed her for entire season practically. A long time. Yeah. Goes Doria, too much. Doria there in the back. No defense, obviously scrambling, you know, right now for Joko Kucho. Goes Doria, the number two, second best blocker in the league. And of course, she came away with the best blocker honors mm. in the last conference, too. Kate Garay is blocked by Dakis. She likes to do it solo today. <laughs> yeah, she likes those one-on-ones there. Defense working for Signal. And another timeout. You know, Coach Dante brings up a, a good point there. This is not what we usually see of Chocomucho. We do see a lot of chatter usually and a lot of talking, a lot of uh, communication on their side, but not today, it seems. Yeah, that's why they need to talk. You know, that's all we heard from Coach Dante. You need to communicate really inside the court. Oh, look at that effort. Both Doria and uh, Trumposo just scrambling for that ball. But it was too much, and Chocomucho will get a point. Let's see if they can string along a few, which is what they need to do right now. Also, not lost yet yeah. to Chocomucho. Yeah. I mean, you like that coming off a timeout. Coach Dante must be pleased with that. Good eyes there by Des Cheng. And unfortunately for Chocomucho, signal just too alert. Knowing what to do with these balls when they come back and forth like that at the net. Yeah, well, you talked about wits. I mean, wits, that's what Jel Kayuna uh -huh. used there. It looked like that they had the disadvantage, but they, she turned that into a point. Uh -huh. Signal now just coasting through this first set. Yeah. Kate Virai timing it. Ball is still good. Dakis will send it over. Where will Ferrer go? A quick one to BDL. Still alive. Oh. And it was Sespolina with that uh, dig. Dig BDL was trying to, to look for that hole, but the coverage was good on signal side. Yeah, I mean, Sespolina, obviously, right now, she's a different player uh -huh. as compared to the team that played one win and four losses, so that's really, I mean, a good sign for Sigma. And the service ace for Rose Doria, she's loving that one. And we can feel really the energy on the side of Signal. And also how it is waning a little bit here over the side of Chocomucho and Arocha coming in now. 
Yeah, I mean, they need that. Arrocha was the bright spot of mm -hmm. Coach Dante in that game against Army. But what about Signal? Everybody contributing to their cause. Overpass. Overpass again. Luminesses knows what to do. Like we said, it was an easy win for Signal for this first set. 25 to 14. And let's see what kind of adjustments Coach Dante will make for the second set. When we come back, we'll break down set number one after this game. That's how the first set went down, 25-14. That is a really big gap, no? something that uh, Chocomucho really has to think about and adjust to this uh, second set. Let's go back to what happened there in that 25-minute first set. You know, I think you were right when you were telling me earlier that Signal has a tendency to be the team that likes to chase when they need a win because they look like they know what's at stake. Everyone's feeling the need for the victory today, everybody playing well. I mean, you saw great serve, yeah. great digs. Then you have Lakis blocking, you have Molina Trocoso leading the charge. So it's really a total team effort. That's why they're looking good. And you're right, Choco Mucha has got to make the adjustments, the necessary adjustments coming into the second set because they want to win as well. Some numbers, look at the attacks. Actually, not too bad for Choco Mucha. You're just down by 4, 15 to 11. The defense, mm -hmm. the blocking is 4 and 0. I aces 2 and 1. Opponents air signal just with 2. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a great set for them, obviously. That's why they won it in that fashion, 25 to 14. Yeah, I think at this point, Chokomucho has to go back to the game that just happened right before this one and how they were able to get that and remember who they are and mm -hmm. what they're made of. You know, it's like a, I think it's a, now it's just a, a, men, a mind game now. It's a, a it's a mental challenge and how they're going to approach this second set. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree, really. They need to work together, come together. Yeah. Like, as Coach Dante said in one of the huddles, you have to talk. How will people know what you're, what you're thinking or what you intend to do if you don't relay, you know, your thoughts? So communication should be or will be key for Choco Mucho. So we have the teams uh, switching sides now and Again, we remind uh, those who didn't see that game that Chocomucho played against Army, kulang kulang sila nun. Yeah. Wala si BDL, wala si Des Cheng, kaya naman nag step up si Mecha Rocha, and of course, Catoletino, a reliable cap. And that's what happened. So they know that they, they've got it, and they just need to really uh, bring that up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they just have to believe in themselves and, you know, what they can do. But if your signal, you're in a happy place. Oh, yeah. Just continue what you're doing. BDL is dug by Jack Janella there. Rad sends it to the back. Catolentino pushing the ball over. Buhay pa rin. Rachel Andaki is trying to put it away. Cayuna. <laughs> Meneses. Now, you know, as that rally was going on, I was looking at Isa Molde. There was a collision with Ponce, yeah. and I see her in tears right now. Yeah, you know, it's tough because you're going full speed, and then all of a sudden there's a, a person there taking a break here to see if Isa Molde can keep playing. She, yeah, she doesn't look like... Yeah, she... Let's check this out, this collision right there. I don't want to look. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I think it is yeah, really the, the contact at the thigh, uh, just at the lower part of her body because Ponzi was already on the floor. Well, she is subbed out. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that she can come back in. I, I feel also that reaction was that because she knows that they need her. They need her today. Mm. 
Nicolettino with that form. And she gets one. That was a beauty yeah. from Catalentino. And now you see that Catalentino, you know, it's playing well. Maybe you have to give her more sessions. Mm. Good serve. Oh, good serve. Right there. That was deep. And that check to get it back. And that was well intentioned, I'm sure. Rachel Andakis intended to give the ball right back to the server. That's right, but then you look at the defense of uh, Chocomucho. Mm. They're very tentative in what they're doing right now, which is what Kojante was pleading, was asking mm. already. You know, you have to defend better. Overpass. Ah, and there's another one. Really no challenge there for Trocoso, and she was going to get that point because there's nobody in the way. Yeah, and the way signal is playing right now, you don't want to be giving, you know, these overpasses because they're so aggressive, they're so focused. Yeah. They're all over the net. You can see Trocoso with the point. Taking a look at Chocomucho's standings in the blocking department, they're number four, not bad. So you know that if they decide to challenge, and they have the tall players. Yeah. They have the six-footer, six-foot-two, Catolentino, of course, Madi Madayag, BDL, all the tall girls. They have Cherry Nunag in the bench as well. Mm. Oh, she was activated also in that last game, so you know that Meron Dung is a pang pwedeng hugutin si Coach Dante. Well, it is close. It's yeah, just it a one-point game. That's right. Oh, that was a good serve. But look at that, Jelka Yuna you know, with a one-handed set. Maybe Meneses is on to it. Well, I, like we said, I mean, Signal's looking really good right now. Everyone is on. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's on there. But again, when we talk about Choco Mucho, there's something missing in the way they're playing right now. You talked a lot about the mental aspect. I yeah. feel you're correct. Arrocha will try again, and that was an error there. Just uh, couldn't get the timing right there for Regina Arrocha. She got two chances. And again, you like how how Wong is really. She will allow you to make up for a mistake, and I, you can I can anticipate that Wong will just still keep going to Arrocha. Yeah, I know, but I, I like the reaction of everyone on the court because they were wanted to laugh, but yeah. you, you saw they were trying to hold. <laughs> trying to hold it. <laughs> you know, these things like, I, I, I'm thinking about our, you all, you volleyball fans who are watching us now, these are the the, the, the highlights, the side lights that you enjoy so much. I'm sure you have seen And we have the first challenge that we've seen today. It's a bit of first set. walang no challenge. Oh, oh. Well, it's pretty straightforward what happened in the first set. No mm. need really for a challenge. No questionable calls or, yeah. yeah, questionable plays. And this second set, much closer. Okay, ball and oh. oh, that was a good challenge, though, because it's a uh, lapit. So, it's just going to be, it's going to go either way. Delay pa rin ng signal. Yeah, so uh, it was a good get... challenge because it's so close. It was close, but then it's still in, in the favor of Signal, so yeah. they still get the point. Maybe Minessa scrambling is going to be a free ball. Chance for Choco Mucho. Back set to Tolentino. That one worked in the first set, and Lina Wong, really with, with those back sets, as you know, are the more challenging ones. Yeah. But you got to give it to Riri Meneses. If you see her chase the ball that way, <laughs> I mean, you have to be proud of your middle <laughs> blocker. But then, Catalina just said, you want to chase, I'm giving you one strong <laughs> hit. Targeting Riri Meneses as well. I'm sure gawain din nila bago makasub yung libero. Uh -oh. Bigay nyo dun sa middle. Sa middle. Oh, oh, oh. Also, and she's getting back in the game here in the second set. She dominated in the first. And she also has three points so far here in the second. Nine altogether for Chai. Well, you know, if you look at the way Signal's playing right now, you wouldn't think really that they're so far at one win and four losses. Yeah. They're just playing so much better today. Outside set to Arrocha. And there we go. As you said, she will be given a chance to make up for that earlier miscue, and she does. 
Four serving seven now. Now hoping, you know, Choco Mucho, obviously hoping she will be the spark plug, you know, play like the way she played against Army. That's why she's there. That's off the hands of Jel Kayuna. That's a good serve. Yeah. yeah. But the excellent reception there by Cesc Molina. Back row goes Reg Arrocha. And Doria, she's tall and she has good timing. Yeah. So she will put that ball away, which is better. 8-4 now, the score at our first technical timeout. Signal up by four. Back for more action here in the PVL, the heart of volleyball. We are featuring in our first game today, the single HD Spikers and the Chocomucho Flying Titan. Sam Corrales has a report for us. Chalkalina said that energy will be the X factor in today's game against Chocomucho. Now, Coach Shaq actually challenged Jell before this game to have more to set up more efficient plays for her spikers. Now the whole signal squad is feeling excited to bring their winning ways back, having a clear headspace by visualizing in the dugout. Now Sabi Coach Shaq, it starts with a good first ball and counter attack to have a higher percentage to get a point. Now for Jell, she says that they need to imbibe the happiness in signal because that's a domino effect on the court. Now we hear that battle cry from Rachel Dakis, but it looks like today it is Jell who is taking charge. Now I also wanted to give a quick update on Isa Molde on the side of Chok Mucho. Now she had a collision with Tang Ponce just a few moments ago and according to their PT Bethel she says that Isa's thigh just got hit but we should not worry too much. Right now on the sidelines Isa's icing the area and according to their PT she will rest for a bit and Isa may get a chance to get back on the court. Back to the panel. Thanks so much for that, Sam. Some good news. I can imagine the blow and how quickly it comes. Talagang siguro it's just, it shook Isa Molde up a little bit, but we're glad to hear that it is something that she'll be able to shake off and maybe she can find her way back to the court later on. Yeah, it's probably just the bruise. It's the emotions that got the better of her. And back to this game, Vanessa's and Kayuna again with that double block. And Sam talked about how Jal Kayuna is really taking on the role of leader and head cheerleader, shall I say. And really just, I like what she, what Sam said, no? just bringing back the winning ways. I mean, these are the runners up from yeah. the last conference. That's why we, everyone was surprised when they, you know, we're talking about the standings and signal is down mm. there, right? So, I mean, they just want to play good like that. Yeah. On cue. Yeah, that's two in a row. And Des Cech knows it. You know, you look at the body language also of Des. And she's saying, Nako. Kapat iniwasan ko. We have a timeout. And it made all the sense in the world. You need to work for every point. You need to work. I mean, the points won't just come. Yeah. We were listening to Sam Corrales with her report on Isa Molde, but I'm sure many of you at home are wondering why then Lazaro Revilla has not been on the court. It's been Ponce all day long. And if uh, we hear that she had some issues and she wasn't in the best of uh, health, 
I don't know if she'll be uh, seeing any action today. Maybe that's something that Sam can give us a report about later on. Meantime, we are still looking at a six-point lead here for Signal to get the ball back. Yeah, they need to, you know, have some stops right now. I mean, they don't want Chokumucho to just, I, they don't, they don't want Signal to just roll and cruise here in the second set. That's a good block, at least to stop the ball, and Cheng will go up again. This time she goes over the two-man block. And she's uh, insisting on a check ball. Did she get it? There's uh, going to be a challenge because Des felt. Yeah, I mean, she was sure, right? She looked like she was sure, but the ball in, ball out, it was out. Let's see if things go the way of Choco Mucho this time. This is their second challenge already for the second set. So, that's it for yeah, them. Yeah. Everybody gets two. For as long as you get them right, you can keep going. There you go. Uh, I mean, you're looking at the, the action on the fingers, if they wiggle, and there doesn't seem to be yeah. any. So that is not going to work out for Choco Mucho. That's the last of their two challenges for this set. And the point stays with Signal. Well, that's just to add to their woes so far in this yeah. game day. They're out of challenges, and the score is just 6-13. Oh, that one is a break for Choco Mucho. Jelka Yuna's serve just sailing. I saw how that floated right in front of us <laughs> from where we're seated here, Noreen. Yeah, you know, she goes for every serve there. But, you know, this is the opportunity of Choco Mucho. Two service errors on the side of Signal. These are two points for you. How are you going to, you know, try to string up a couple of points? Oh, Dina Wong doesn't keep the ball in play. Daki's with a put away. And that is Brad's seventh point. She's already registered two blocks, solo blocks. Solo blocks. Yeah, and an ace today. Things uh, are looking good for team captain Rachel Andakis. Playing solid today. Ooh. That's good defense, but Chocomucho will try again. Tolentino, one more chance, and this time it's good. And like we said earlier, she is the first option mm -hmm. of Chocomucho. You have to set more to her right now. You want to chase. And she really is one of the most reliable and steady yeah. opposites in the entire league. And she is so, she know, so knows what her role is as an opposite player, which is, you know, if you ask some people, a very crucial, one of the most crucial roles. And sabi nga nila, in the leagues abroad, yan yung pinakamataas na, no, yung pinak premium. Yeah. Because you're blocking the outside hitters as well. Yeah. And Signal is continuing to give Chocomucho a hard time here. 15-8, then we have another substitution. Michael Ortiz will see action first time. And another tall player here. Another veteran. I think that's more of uh, the purpose for that substitution really they need leadership right now mm. you can sense really choco mucho in this array at this point arocha is set up jelka yuna gets it and look at ortiz right on the bench scores in less than a minute <laughs> that's a bonus quality points yeah. for you i mean that's how she is we know ortiz very aggressive at the net Give her an opportunity like that, she's gonna just score. Nina kailangan uminit pa. Oh, oh. And it's, as you said, Noreen, they need to string along the points. Kailangan makapag uh, rally sila ng konte, makapag sunod si And these service errors will just. Uh, they, they will show up and haunt them later on. Signal up by seven in the second technical timeout.
Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. And we are still here at the Field Sports Arena. We have a couple of games today. This is only our first uh, midway almost into our uh, tournament as we take a look at Ricky. Well, you know, it, nagulat din ako kanina talking about it, um, uh, Noreen, na nasa gitna na tayo ng ating <laughs> halos, no? Ng ating conference. Sobrang bilis. Yeah. You know, later on, you know it's a second conference already. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a service ace. And things are going the way of signal here. Chai Trumposo scoring her second from the service line. Oh, I mean, she's really on point today talk, talking about Chai Trumposo. Yeah. Hitting, serving, blocking. Already in double digits. Mike Ortiz, two for That's why she's there, you know, what she can bring to the Shoko Mucho squad. Now the challenge for this team is really how will they respond? You know, you have a veteran in Mike Ortiz, yeah. there. you have to respond. Starts with that serve, just need a safe, steady serve. Oh, that, that was one. Mm -hmm. Let's see where Dina Wong goes. Looking for Cheng. Balls back. Good cover. From back row, Arrocha. Del Cayuna pushes the ball over. Tolentino from the pipe. Good save. Good rally here. Cheng is timing it. Jack Janela knows where to be. So does Ponce. Tolentino. Oh, still alive. Cheng again. And look at Brad. Oh, she does, and Catalina just could not keep that ball in play. She had a couple of uh, good saves there. Talking about Cat, but that one just got away from her. Yeah, but did you see the way Jel Cayuna got everyone involved? Almost everyone. Yeah. I mean, Troncoso, Takis, and finally, I mean, everyone really. It's really just masterful setting by Jel Cayuna today. Yeah. Oh. Time on that, and we have a timeout after that. Service ace by Sesmanini. Yung receive natin, hindi natin mapatay ngayon, nagkakaproblema tayo, di ba? Pero sabi ko nga, adjust lang muna, okay? Nag-timeout tayo, mag-a-adjust yan. Kailangan natin may hatid muna, okay? Kailangan makapatay. Then pag nakaserve tayo, Importante, hindi tayo maka-stop. Kanina pa tayo rito naglalaro, wala tayong na-stop. Di ba? Long first set lang tayo naka-isa. Okay, kailan tayo maka-stop? Okay. I think Coach Dante is really talking about the, the fits and starts, the, the good plays, and then and uh, tapos nababawi at uh, nagsiservice error. So gusto niya makita yung sunod-sunod. And the stop. And the stop. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. But it has to continue. Yeah. It can't be just one and then side out. You know what I mean? They need their stops. And Cherry Nunag will see action now. She is a... Uh, Coming in for BDL at the front. And let's see if that would also make a difference for the Flying Titans. Okay, good receive. Receive. Catalantino from the back. Yes! I like how you look like the Kita I almost feel that she was going to pull that one. Or there's a different sense of elation really at the side of signal. And I always say, you know, if a team is playing very relaxed, yeah. the weakness of your opponents somehow gets magnified. Mm, right? I mean, you can see point. it eh. Yeah. You can see it eh. Yeah, and you know, they are... You, you talk about people or teams who are in the zone. Yeah. And they, they have the flow, and I think that's where signal is right now. And that is where Choco Mucho should 
hope to be. They need to get the flow going. Yeah. Oh, there. That's a good stop by Cheng. And that's four. Yeah, touches. Good try. That was a tough one, but Cheng managed to get a hand on that. But still, 10-point lead for Signal. Well, I, I can see I'm looking at Lashley Koshan and trying to, like, pump his team up, really. And it also starts with a stop. That's why he kept saying, we don't get stops. We haven't had a stop here in set number two. Yes, Cheng there. Couldn't get a point. Oh, almost, almost. Jerry Luna. And that's Cheng going up for that one. But just much too strong. Well, it's a good start. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're right when you said almost because it's a good start. At least there's a, oh, oh, there's a challenge now. It's not just, you know, free-flowing free flowing offense for Signal. Of course, the fans want a good game, wants to make a game out of this game. Mm -hmm. But that's a service ace that Joko Mucho did not want to see coming from Rose Doria. And Monte really struggled with that one. Again, the flow, just a signal in the zone. Oh well. well, actually the question is, will Coach Dante activate Denden Lazaro Revilla? Because now, obviously, she is needed. And Rad hitting it off the blockers oh, there. Yeah. This is an even easier second set for Signal. They already coasted through that first one. That one ended 25-14. And there's an even bigger margin. <laughs> and if you base, like trying to choose a player of the game mm -hmm. based on the first and second, it is going to be so difficult because everyone is playing well. well thank God that's your job and not <laughs> mine. And look at that. Two service pieces in a row. And that is how this second set will end. 25-11, the final count. Easy win for the HD Spikers in the second set. They need it. They need the win. And we can see that they really want it to. We'll be back to break down set number two after these. Twenty-five eleven. After that, twenty-five fourteen. First set massacre by Signal. So it has been tough for Chocomucho today, to say the least. It uh, it, it has been uh, when we we saw the first and second set. Obviously, we witnessed it. It's really the desire of a team. I mean, that statement to win, and we are, we are looking at a team with talking about Signal who wants to win. Everybody's contributing. They obviously raise the level of play compared to the previous games that they've played because they know what's on stake. You know, their life is on the line. Yeah. But how, what about Chocomucho? It's, it's, I mean, like, I'm dumbfounded <laughs> at what's going on in their camp, really, because, I mean, we know that they're better than this, right? They, we know that they, they can play better than this. So they need to go back to the drawing board right now and focus on the third set. Forget the, about the first two sets. Okay, let's take a uh, look at some numbers here. In terms of attack, Signal 15 to 8. That was pretty obvious when we saw the offense of Signal just free-flowing over there yeah. in all categories. They led blocking, aces. We saw the aces. Mm -hmm. And three airs even less than Joko Mutra. Okay, Signal, again, you're in a good place. Just stay there. Play your game and want to end this in three sets. But Chocomucho, forget about the first two sets. Focus on the third set like it's the start of the game and you want to win in straight sets because you need to win three, four, and five. Signal looking really good, but if you are a Chocomucho fan or just a fan of volleyball, you want to see a win by the girls in purple here because we want to extend yeah. and see a really good match between these two, which I know they have it in them. And we also consider the other factors, the other intangibles. We had 
players who were out sick uh, the game before, so maybe, I don't know if that is still a factor. We have some who, we have an injury in Isa Molde, and these things that are just not going their way, but you cannot uh, find excuses. You still have to take ownership of the game. Isa Molde is back on the court. It seems she, uh, we take a look at her knee, it's wrapped, but she is back. And like you said, she really, she, I think when she was crying, it was uh, aside from the, the pain that she was feeling, alam din niya eh, yung, yung halaga nung presence niya sa court. Uh, and I think really the emotions got the best of her that mm -hmm. time because, you know, I mean, it's a very important game. Oh, that's a good reception there by Ponce. Signal with a chance here to score first and set number three. Rad. Take advantage of that. Boy, she is playing really at a different level here. Look at that. I mean, she's been successful in all aspects of her game today. 12 points for team captain Rachel Andakis today, but we've also been talking about how Jelka Yuna has been just steering this team to uh, two easy victories in the last two sets. Uh, cut shot by Tolentino. And these are the things that you want to see more of. Yeah, and for Choco Mucho, you want them to start out strong because once they relinquish a certain lead to the signal, you feel that they lose the fight mm. in them. And you want to, you know, start out really strong here in the third set. Oh, you know, they demoralize yeah. or they deflate. Right, and I mean, we were talking about it yeah. off cam. And that's something that your opponents can feel and they'll take advantage yeah. of that. That's the way Signal is playing right now. Yeah. Oh, and look at oh. Isa Molde coming back strong. Looks like she's okay. Yeah, that's a good sign for mm -hmm. Choco Mucho. You need, you know, you cannot, although we do say, Kat Talentino, you should get a lot of sense, but it, it has to be also well distributed. Yeah. It really has to be a, a team effort for the Flying Titans here. That's a good serve there. And look at Mike Ortiz will stay on the court because she has committed zero errors, has scored every time she touches the ball. Talk about quality minutes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's why she's there. I mean, obviously, Coach Lati would want her to continue to like try to pump her teammates up. But if you look at Michael Ortiz and Meneses, two players from the same university and different eras. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, no, there, parang a lot of tradition that they share, different eras. But you know, it's lalo na may UAP ngayon. It's nice to talk about uh, these girls and what they have brought to. Uh, these games oh. and how their schools are never forgotten even when they're playing in the pros already. Sam Corrales is ready for her reports, huh? Now, last game, Choco Mucho was not 100%, and unfortunately, today, they are still not in that level. Now, I was in the dugout before this game. I was speaking to Den Lazaro Revilla, and she told me that she was not feeling well today, and maybe that's why we're not seeing her in action on the court in this game against Signal. But on the bright side, though, she is still giving some advice to her teammates on the sidelines, like the true veteran that she is. And now, since blocking is the name of the game, Madi Madi told me that they need to get their timing right and communicate. This is also what I heard from Coach Dante in the huddle before this set three. Magtulungan tulangan tayo, magusap din tayo, guys. Back to the panel. Thanks so much, Sam. And that's a clarification that I'm sure all of you wanted to hear. So, that's an old video. I'm saying actually because she is not in the game of health. And these challenges really off the court that. Choco Mucho has to surmount. Hindi lang yung challenge na binibigay ng Signal HD. <laughs> Ang dami pa nila mga iniinda. Personal challenge. Oh, oh. So many service A's. Kimo wala ng service A's today. And that's really something that's so welcome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even Vanessa is getting, in, getting into the A's follow. <laughs> oh! Almost. Down the line, giving him right back to Riri. 
<laughs> no, we're looking at the reaction of Signal when they're obviously they're taunting Riri Menezes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a good decision actually for Kat to go to, to Riri there. Good serve. Wow. Valentino getting her groove back here. Eight points already for Kat. And so much weight on her shoulders, but yeah, she's a trooper. She is. And they need actually a good server, a tough server right now. That's a good stat there to add to Chocomucho and Ace. Oh, and a steady server at this point. Oh. And we have a violation call against Chocomucho, but that was a that was a good run. And Chocomucho evening things out here uh, in this much uh, or must win third set for the Flying Titans. Well, as compared to the first two sets, you mm -hmm. have to be happy with the start of Choco Mucho. Good pass. Molde, but Janela will keep the ball in play. Doria, Ponce was quick to get there. Molde again. Janela with the cover. Molina timing it. Still alive. Valentino knew what to do. Molde, third time. Good coverage, good defense. Oh! Both squads. And it's still good. Yeah. Good call there. Back set to Tolentino. Still alive. Good defense. Look at Rad. Let's see what Wong is up to now. Sherry with a pull away. And the focus of both teams. Choco Mucho just really keeping their focus. I mean, that is really what we see here. And that's one of the better rallies we had in a long time. Yeah. I mean, the first, I think, was in the first set, not with too much second set, and that, you know, should pump up Choco Mucho. So many points, so many instances there. Well, kala natin patay na. Yeah. Let's see if uh, we get another rally going here. And that's an error, and we can hear the crowd come alive here at the Phil Sports Arena as Choco Mucho takes the lead in our first technical timeout. 8-6 is the count, we'll be back. Back in the Phil Sports Arena, Choco Mucho fighting for their lives here. 8 6 is the score, they're up by two. Let's listen to what you say. Welcome back, Bess and Bea. That's because they were out in the last game, those of you who yeah. And uh, Jamaica Flores says, Dang Ponce is starting libero. Let's go, Dang. And good support from the Choco Mucho fans. We well, have to give it to Tang also. I mean, solid, solid, and ang aga, <laughs> ang aga ng rally. Sabi niya, meron pa, binigyan kayo namin ng isa pang magandang rally. More to come, and that's what we hope for. All of you volleyball fans, this is what we like to see, yeah. mga dikit na mga laban. Oh, Doria! <laughs> Enjoying that one. And she was just uh, right where she needed to be. Signal with point number seven there with a mini rally. Yeah, much to the delight of uh, Coach Shaq because he saw his girls were on point and blocking. Yeah. Tess Molina with nine points today. Has an ace. Let's see if she can get another one here. That one is outside. Choco Mucho, happy about that for sure. <laughs> Yeah, and you, you know, you can, I said that, you don't get three points. You do, honestly, you, you do get three points from, from the errors of your opponents. But of course, you always want to work for your points, yeah. right? Talking more about Choco Mucho in set number three. Let's see who they put to work today. Okay, they got a chance to set up here. Choco Mucho going all the way here with Mike Ortiz. Just put all your chips when you <laughs> should fall. Talagang, the bet is on Micah Ortiz that she will 
get the point for you, Choco Mucho every you, time. You go all in with yeah. Micah Ortiz. Yes. <laughs> Poker player, Kano. <laughs> time out, <laughs> signal. Eh, yung outside, nakadikit dito. Saka to. Okay? So, pagkano kaya dito para mag-separate to? Okay? O kung saan man. Kung play nyo, kung dito sa mahaba or mas so, one, one good pass muna. Ah, one good pass. Okay? Let's go, guys. Tayo ko mag-fall ng Oh, yeah. 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 Let's go, ha? Happy to signal! Awesome. Clear as day from Captain Rachel Andakis. Well, you know, she's gonna really... You know that she wants to end this in three sets. Talk about Andakis and Singa. So, yeah, that's a good time out to try to stop this Chocomucho run. And she's right, they have had control of this game so far. I mean, they... Took those first two sets handily. They everything was uh, running like a well-oiled machine yeah. for for Signal. But now Choco Mucho is finding their groove, and we know what they can do when they work together as a team. Yeah, and it, it's a different six or different so, chemistry. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you don't know what to expect. You know, if you're not used to seeing a certain six play together. Good serve, good pass. Good pass. <laughs> oh! That's checking. Quite get to that one. Amazing low for this. And that's a three point signal for another easy one off the error of Choco Mucho. Yeah, that's what you don't want to see. You know, that last play from Choco Mucho, you want them to be like deliberate mm -hmm. and 100% in what they do. Yeah. Is that inside? Outside. Oh, outside. It's close, but no cigars. And Choco Mucho maintains a two-point lead here. <laughs> hey, you can hear the shrieks of the fans here. Yeah, just this drop balls. Vanessa's there. You know, she, she don't really have to take advantage of her height. And it's that the basketball blood. <laughs> Yeah. See, Uncle Verhel yes. is so happy to see that Rigi Menezes is, is uh, you know, continuing the uh, legacy, I guess, of, you know, the, Filipino of athletes, the name. excellent Filipino athletes from the Menezes family. Yeah. But, you know, I want to give credit to Jill Cayuna. That was an overpass, but she kept that alive. Good coverage. We like seeing Tolentino cover her own spikes. Yes. <laughs> she goes up again, and this time no need to cover yeah. because... Tolentino gets it past the two-man block. Well, you know what you like about Choco Mucho here in set number three? You can kind of feel the fight in them. Mm -hmm. We didn't really see it in the first two sets, so they can start there, and their fans should be happy at this point. And you know, literally, ramdam eh. Yeah. Nararamdaman mo talaga na medyo nandun na. The, lumalaban. Lumalaban. Yeah. And that's outside. We'll get another break for Choco Mucho. And though challenge, I thought for a minute there they were gonna <laughs> challenge that call. The players did signal, but Coach Shaq said, no, no, I'm not gonna challenge that. <laughs> I'm the coach. <laughs> oh, that's a good serve. Look at Dev Cheng now with a service ace. That is her first today. A good time for a service ace for Des Cheng. Welcome back. Welcome <laughs> back. I mean, that's a perfect time to say that. Ate Janelle is uh, waiting in the wings. She is playing next. <laughs> Achi Cheng. <laughs> See, Achi. And that's outside. So close. Pero saya. And she scratches her head. She knows it. Saya, you service ace ko. Yes. Yeah, and obviously they've uh, you know established a run here for talking about Choco Mucho. Then you serve it out. Still a three-point lead for the Flying Titans. Tolentino, Jack Janela was there, but too strong coming from Cat down the line. It's her favorite spot. Yeah, but good effort on the side of Jack Janela trying to keep that ball alive. But that was too strong. Look at the angle of Catalina there. And again, you see really the strength of having a reliable opposite. I mean, Dina Wong was all the way to the other side and really pushed the ball out. That good set there to Catalina. It was a great set. Cat goes up again. This time she's blocked and Dina couldn't get there in time. 
you know, you saw the pause in the coverage of Choco Mucho. Sometimes, I mean, years back without the challenge system, a lot of uh, referees would mm. call this a not over mm. play. But mm. right now, because of the challenge system, they don't really whistle immediately. So they really have to be, you know, aware of that. Keep the ball in place if, if, if there's no whistle. And as you explained that, Choco Mucho extends their lead to four. We are at our second technical timeout. 16-12 is the count. We'll be back. Live now and cheering their team on. Uh, of course, Signal HD fans are still around. Also, in full support of their team who played flawlessly in the first two sets. So let's see if Chokomuchu is able to extend this. We want to see more volleyball between these two teams. <laughs> I mean, you said that bias aside, we really want to see more volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> it's a ball there off the block. And that's what Gordon Alger said. And that's how you score. You're Lisa Molde. Well, you like right now that, you know, the offense of Chocomucho, they're adjusting. They're not hitting it straight to the blockers, getting the sub block. Use the angles. Use those hands. Second best blocking team in the league. You got to be creative. Yes. Molina now. Almost stopped at this check. Not quite. And Molina. Is back. She's in double digits today too. Chinbasa, you're we were looking, wondering. Yeah. <laughs> you're looking for her. <laughs> yeah, you know, you were talking about how earlier, wala masyadong sinasab si Coach Chak kasi ang ganda na ng mix ng, ng signal. Yeah. Yeah, ang dami pang mga reserve. And we also have C coming in now for the setter position. Well, you like this substitution from Coach Chak because obviously he wants to mount a rally because he wants to end this in mm -hmm. three sets. These two coaches, we have two very busy coaches here. We're talking about Coach Dante Alizinurin and Coach Shaq. Yeah. Los Santos were really just uh, busy with their teams, both here in the UAAP. Wong pushes it to Molde again. Ball still good. Chocomucho will reset. Valentino oh! is good. Oh. And you know, that's the thing about that Valentino coming from the pipe. Because from back row, mas palaki yung buelo mo. You don't worry about that but foot break na na didiretso pa sa net. Yeah. Diba? So pwede mo talagang uh, ibigay lahat. Eh. Yeah. But she was asking for it. I, I kept looking at her and she was telling me, you know, give it to me. Valentino with 11 points already. Ball back to Signal here. And they cut the lead down to four. Well, of That's course, for Chocomucho, they're hoping, you know, these little errors will not affect the outcome of this third set because they're playing so well. Oh, good joust there. That was almost a gift, almost regalo yun. Yes, Cheng is stopped. Signal will set up again. C looking for Molina. Back row. Ponce. And here's that rally. You wanted to see. Dakis will end it. On the hands of Wong. Uh, uh, that's just so smart hitting from yeah. Dakis. I mean, Dina Wong is not a small blocker. You know, but she just hit it off mm -hmm. the right hand of Dina Wong. 
veteran moves from the veteran Rachel Andakis with 13 points so far today. Ses Molina, meantime, with a serve here. Let's check timing it. And we have a violation. Our second referee, Lina Eusebio, calling for a net touch violation against Des Cheng. And you know, we believe her. She's saying, I, I, hindi ako, hindi ako, because <laughs> sometimes hindi mo naman alam talaga kung, kung t-shirt mo yung tumama. Anyway, we have a, a challenge but issued yeah. by Coach Dante. But you have to remember, in set number two, she was so sure of the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> So we will see this time if she makes up for that uh, the other challenge. You want to use these challenges. That's what they're there for. <laughs> Sayang din naman, di ba? <laughs> and this is a precarious situation for Choco Mucho. They have to win this set in order to extend. And they have the lead, but they want to hold it. Yeah, and they're actually, they are playing better here. As, I mean, far cry from their performance in the first two mm. sets. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about the right mix. We were surprised Michael Ortiz is not on the floor because she she's at the back. been doing well. No, she's at the back. Ah, she's at the back. Okay, yeah. she's going to rotate in. Let's see. And we're looking at Des Cheng to the right and she did touch the net. <laughs> You know, she says she didn't feel that she did. There's and that's why proof. we have the challenge. That's why we have the challenge. <laughs> There's your proof right there. You touch the net. The ball goes back to signal. And a point. And the lead down to two. And one challenge remaining. One challenge remaining. Uh, that's a break there for Chocomucho. Boy, you know, for a team who's served so well in the first two mm -hmm. sets, that has faltered here in the third set. A lot of service errors on the side of Signal. And Cherry Luna getting ready to serve. And Michael Ortiz, that's right, she rotated back in. Put away there. Just a very quick conversion by Signal. They like to make their points quick. Ayaw na ng rally. Look, what a set by Giselle C there. Go with to Doria. So Giselle C will stay in the game, although Jelka Yuna has had a good game so far also. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at my court. This is a dog by C. Is that called inside? No, it's called out, but... Oh, yeah. Even Chin Bass has said, no, I hit it out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you're looking at the score on your screens. Nagpalit na nga ng isip, pati yung ating uh, scoreboard ay pumanig sa Choco Mucho. Yes. Riri Meneses again, getting the ball right back. Shai Trumposo, Jelka Yuna, coming back. Basas and C sit out. Yeah, now signal. Unfamiliar territory, yep. they're the one who has to chase. And you know, again, even when we say we, the fans and us, we want more volleyball, of course, we're signal. They want to end they it again. End it. And this is the original six, the yeah. one that caused the damage in the first two sets. Let's see if Chocomucho will put up a stand in this third set. Wong, Tolentino asked for it. Oh, oh so good, it seems. Oh no, a double contact. You know, Cesc. A surprise, but look at Choco Mucho. Just happy about the turn of events here. Yeah, I, I didn't hear the whistle actually mm -hmm. because of the crowd. So I, it's a good thing that first referee signaled already. So we knew it was a dead ball. Two. Oh, and that was a, a facial there, but coming from Jeff Ayuda. <laughs> Rad is dug by Des Cheng. Wong giving it to Lisa Molden. It's like off the hands of Rachel Andakis and Jomo Mucho now get their four point lead right back at a crucial time 22 18. Well, you see the collision might have done Lisa Molden well yeah. here. <laughs> Timeout signal. So, kailangan tayo yung control do sa game natin. Okay? So, kailangan, na execute natin na maayos yung plays natin. Okay? Ha? Ayon! 
Kapag nakuha nila, ready ulit tayo. Establish ulit ng block sa ka-defense. Okay? So receive muna maganda. Then gawa ka ng play. Okay, no? Okay, go, go. We can't hear what's going on on the side of the Mucho, but you know that the joint phase and I think it was a more serious time out for them because they know that they need to fight to keep that lead. And I think also Coach Sate wants to establish the fact that, you know, your minds are in a good place right now. Where they need right to be now. at. Yeah, so just stay there and fight and try to bring yes. this to a fourth step. Meantime, we're going to see as we take a look at second service ace by Death Cheng. That's huge. That's huge That's for huge. Indeed. Even for their confidence. Mm. Things really looking up for Chokomucho in this third set. And if you're Signal, you have to remember how you're able to just finish those first two sets off. Oh, wow. Oh. It was a trap shot from Chai Kong Boso. That was, yeah, well that, that was what they were doing in the first two sets, you know, playing it smart, just dropping, finding the hole of uh, your opponent's defense. 12 points for Chai from Koso. Well, they have to chase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 19 serving, 23. <laughs> Four point lead. Tayo nilang the... palagpasin sa four points. Uh -oh. Talk about signal. Look at the focus on Rachel Dacus ah. there. There's a call uh, against Signal overreaching. Or is it against? Okay, we have to wait and okay, see. Here, here, here. Take a look at this. Is there an overreaching there? I mean, the ball was on the side of, of Choco Mucho, but they're calling an overreaching violation. Did Riri and Fango pass the. Well, just a short uh, comment there. It looked like with that slow-mo, the ball was on the side of signal already. And we have another call here. Is this a... And that is how the second third set is going to end. Rachel Andaki is trying to challenge that call. But it doesn't look like she will get a chance. Meantime, we take a look at the crowd here. Choco Mucho fans ecstatic about the way that third set turned out to Haipa. Uh, Choco Mucho Flying Titans, they live to see another set after that 25-19 win. And we will talk more about that set after the break. Welcome back to the Phil Sports Arena. We are going to set four after that 25-19 win by Choco Mucho in that third set. That was an exciting one. We have more volleyball action. Yes. That's what we have to say, and I'm sure the fans are happy about that. And yeah, I mean, it's a, it was a better showing of uh, Choco Mucho. The irony of it all, it's a different six. They use Ortiz, yeah. they use, you know, I mean, this mix worked for da Coach Dante, and we wouldn't be surprised if he goes back to that mm. same six, right? Because it did, they did get a set. As we take a look at the highlights here, you know, Coach Dante talks about this team as a team in transition, and there's still a lot of rebuilding. We have a new mm. coach coming in, so you're right. It's really just trying to figure out what is the best mix. This is a good time to do it because you have the first half of this conference to see how the players are coming in and how they're playing together, and then you make the decisions coming from uh, this point. Yeah. Look at the numbers here. Well, look at the numbers in terms of attack. Shoko Mucho, they were able to convert more in the third set than mm -hmm. in the first two sets. I mean, 12 as compared to nine blocking, they were challenging. Even just one, that's better than none, right? Yeah. Aces went their way, wow, so... Aces, yeah. Yeah, so overall a better set, and we were talking about the errors mm -hmm. of Signal. 
nine. How many of that were service errors, yeah. right? Aside from the other errors. So from three to two to, to nine, I mean, that's a huge discrepancy right there. So, you know, even if Choco Mucho played a better set, if you look at the numbers, Sigla has to realize they gave a lot of points to Choco Mucho. Choco Mucho also with seven errors there that they can clean up. If they play a cleaner fourth set, then it might also be easier for them. But let's see also the resilience here of Signal. We will test that because they were almost flawless in the first two sets. Yeah. And then things went a little bit awry in the third. Let's see if they find that place again. If they're able to do it, bounce back and uh, find uh, the zone again. Yeah. But Signal, their own changes. They, they're starting with Chin Chin Basas here in the fourth set. Mm. Again, this is a must-win game for Signal. Not so much for Choco Mucho, but they also want to really win as many sets, as many games as they can because they are uh, not in the top four yet. Yes. And, you know, we did talk about the standings in our pregame. There are clearly three teams vying for the first one, two, and three. So the fourth is really up for up grabs. grabs. Daki Sponsor read that one. And the crowd, they know, they can almost predict that it's going to be a kill by Tolentino there on the line. And I'm looking at the the bench of the coaching staff of Chocomucho. The coaching staff, they're animated right now. They're the ones cheering louder than the fans. Ooh. And Whiskey there at the serve. Get that one out of the way. I mean, if you look at the percentages here, you never have 100% serving at any point. So there are <laughs> going to be errors. So you want to get them out of the way when it's not crucial. So you're hoping that they get it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Early, early, oh. later, there's no service error. <laughs> That's for both teams, we're hoping. Because they have, we've seen aces from both sides today. Right? Let's see what's going on with the service on the service line. And Aiko Ortiz, you can't stop talking about her and really what she is bringing to the team, particularly this game, just deflecting it off the hands of Riri. <laughs> you read her lips there. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, these people, they know their opponents. She, she has so much respect for the blocking of Riri Menezes. Yeah. That's yes, Cheng. Third ace today. What can you say? Yeah, I mean, we didn't see that in the first two sets. We know that she's a good server, and now she's showing us that indeed she is. Oh! oh. <laughs> Nobody serves 100%. <laughs> you, you called it, you called it. I'll give that to you. Still a two-point lead for Choco Mucho. Another must-win for them because Signal took the first two sets quite easily. For those of you just joining us now, it was an easy first two sets. 25-14, 25-19. Or 25-11, rather. 11, yeah. yeah. And then it was 25-19 for the third set in favor of Choco Mucho. What about Isa Molde? I told you. That after that collision, she sat on the bench when she came out. It's like she's a different player, <laughs> right? She's playing so much better. Chin Basas. There you go. Basas on the scoreboard. Again, you were looking for her. She is she's proving. A, she is a clutch player. Chin Basas is dependable. When she knows her role, usually binubunot from uh, the bench, but she comes through. That's true. That's true. That is her game. And that one is outside. Another break for Choco Mucho. 6-3. Yeah, I think this is also the adrenaline already of mm. these players. And uh, this is looking good for Choco Mucho because they are leading early in the set. Same as, as what happened in the third set. Mm. You know, they were in step with, uh, with Signal. Team Basas dug by Catolentino that time. Molde timing it. Cayuna with a quick to Doria. Ponzi was there. Well, they will try one more time. A soft one. Off system. 
Cesc Molina oh, oh, oh. right into Ponte's hands. Molde oh. on the block. Oh. And Molde is doing just fine. We're not worried <laughs> about that thigh injury. In fact, like you said, Noreen, it shook her up. It did her good. It did her good. <laughs> the crowd is loving it here. If you are a Choco Mucho fan, this is uh, something that you had been waiting for from the beginning. It took them a while to get the, the flow, mm. and now we're seeing it. Awakening, of like an awakening of sorts. And we have a call against Choco Mucho. Somebody was at the net. <laughs> Jerry Nunak admitted already in the start when they called that. Yeah, very clear. No challenge for that one. And signal. They're still right in there. Chin Chin Basas. Ooh, good serve. Oh, again. She knows that the hit will be challenged, and she's resigned to that. So, ginagawa talaga niya ng paraan yung mga block ng signal, and she has been successful that last the last two sequences. 8-4 is a count, a four-point lead for Choco Mucha in this first technical timeout. And there's a shot of the crowd that we have here at the Phil Sports Arena enjoying volleyball action. We promise you a good day of volleyball. And we're the signal fans there. actually were hoping that they would go home early. But Chocomucho had other plans. We're getting there. We promise exciting volleyball. We're getting there. I mean, the third set is a lot better than the first two sets. but. You know, I mean, fans in general, you just like good action, good quality play. And uh, we have another game, actually. Uh, tonight, Petrogas going up against F2 Logistics. That's going to be fun. And those are the teams uh, in the top rung. And we have a quick report by Sam Corrales. Yes, that's right. Choco Mucho finally unleashed their power in that third set. And they are out here to show Signal that they do not want a straight set loss. Now, right now, Coach Dante just reminded them to set up their blocks well, be in position, and be ready to cover. Nothing out of the ordinary, but body language is a huge factor for the Flying Titans as they seem more locked in and eager in the huddles. Now, those on the bench are in it as well, and they encourage those on the floor to keep the momentum and flow going in this set. Back to you. Thanks so much, Sam. And we saw there a unforced error. Now the errors on Signal coming early and really giving Choco Mucho that advantage, helping them out here <laughs> to be four-point lead already for the Flying Titans. Yeah, that's one thing they have to check. Obviously, talking about signal, the errors. We did talk about it, you know, their errors in the third set. Nine errors, so yeah, they want to minimize that. Good floor defense by Signal HD. But here's a chance for Choco Mucho without running attack. And the timing of Rachel Andakis. Parang kilalang kilala ni Raz, itong si Micah. Sa tagal na nila naglalaro against each other. Exactly, even probably, I'm not sure, dating back to UAAP. Yes, absolutely. Oh, but look at that block by Dakis. You did say she loves those one-on-ones. -on yeah. And uh, good things happen when she starts blocking this way. Oh, oh. that's uh, not good, though, for Rose Doria. The number two blocker in the league, and that's an error at the so I think it was a bad toss already, the way when she tossed the ball, medyo alanganin na. Yeah, you know, that's what you always tell people. You don't want to see the hesitation mm. when you're serving. It has to be, you know, always 100% really. And the running attack coming from the side of Vivi Lunes is inside. There's a USD thing going on here. <laughs> Yeah. They are challenging each other. That's the identical play that Riri Meneses converted this time. 
Yung parang may hugot eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> so these are the stories we're just adding. <laughs> it's getting interesting here as really Chokomucha has already found the groove. Look at that chain. And the crowd approves. Of course. I mean, you talked about finding one's groove. I mean, these are the shots of this chain. And finally, you see that from her. Four-point lead still for Chocomucho. Oh. That one with the help of the net. Signal was set up, Chinbasas. Another chance, Wong pushing it to Molde. Jack Janela was there. Dakis. Ponce again game. with a save. Valentino, Jack Janela. With that dig. And again, wow. <laughs> Zone one. That's all I can say, are you kidding me? I mean, it looked <laughs> like Chocomucho had control of that rally. I mean, and then that set by Kayuna to Dakis. Look at Atu Molina. Molina. Just playing it smart. Nahanap lang talaga yung Budas. But, exactly. really, but props to the hardworking liberos on both sides. Yeah. Ponce and Janela. See. Well, here comes Signal. They're just down by two. I told you, if Rachel Andaki starts blocking that way, good things happen to Signal. Ponce with a good reception there. Molde going up. And she gets that one off the hands of Chinbasas. Molde already with 10 double digits for Isa Molde. Right, the UP. <laughs> and she's got a hot hand right now for Choco Mucho. But, but then you see that when Isamolde plays well, that takes a lot of pressure off of Catalentino, mm. right? Oh, that's true. And a little bit of confusion there in the back. One more time on that last play, a quick conversion for Signal, Chinbasas. I like the way she contours her body, mm. you know? And then that follow through, that fold. Almost an ace, but ball will go over to Signal. Kayuna, back set to Chin. Oh, wow, great <laughs> set, so unpredictable. Nobody saw that coming from the side of Choco Mucho. Yeah, and why not go to Chin Baza? She just scored. Yeah. Oh, what a set. What a set. I mean, that's a perfect thing to say because you can see the blockers didn't anticipate yep. that. The blockers were slow to react. Just a one-point advantage for Choco Mucho. Catolentino wants to make it two points. A breather. Yeah. <laughs> and a pad there. That's right. They want that cushion. And you know, we feel, wala na kanina, pinag-uusama natin, Norina. Parang there was a, an air of uh, parang tentativeness or maybe merong... Uh, Iffiness. Iffiness. Ngayon, neither team showing that. Yeah. Again, the importance of this match for both teams, really. Still a one-point game. Signal playing catch-up in this fourth set. Chinbasa's on the line here. Yeah, but, but it's just a one-point game. But these are crucial moments of this set, really. All important serves here. Molde with that push. Great, great idea there by Molde. <laughs> That's just smart. And she, the case in point, Isa Molde obviously in the third set here in the fourth set, she's playing more relaxed mm -hmm. than she did in the first two sets. And now she's seeing the weakness of the opponents better. Oh. 100%. I mean, when you play relaxed, when you play like a rookie, sometimes that it's, it uh, bodes well for you. Because it's more clear what you see. Yes. <laughs> well, well, those are rookie moves by any means. Des Cheng just showing her wares and just really contributing when she needs to. 
Yeah, now a more balanced scoring we're seeing on the side of Choco Mucho. Molde already with 11 points after having sat out that second set. Chance. Oh. Dino from back row there. A little confusion here on the side of Signal. And that underhanded serve set. Oh! oh still on <laughs> And you know, you look at Des Cheng saying that wasn't the best of sets. It was just an, an, an underhand set coming from Dina Wong. They're nagkagulo sila. But she scores anyway. 16-12 is the count. We'll be back. Back at the Phil Sports Arena, a lot of energy coming from both teams here. We have Choco Mucho just uh, fighting for a fifth set, actually taking a the lead here at the second technical timeout. 16-12 is the score. And for those of you just joining us now, why is this game so important for both squads, Doreen? Yeah, because you know we're heading towards. The latter part of this elimination round, only four teams, it's 19 tournament, only four teams will make it to the next round. So we already saw there are league leaders, three teams. These two, they still have a chance, but mm -hmm. they need to win today. Especially Signal. But Signal will be out of contention for the Final Four if they don't uh, get a W today, and that is what they need to remember. They played with that uh, intention in the first two sets, and then Choco Mucho came back in the third set, leading this fourth set. So Signal has to remember their mission. If you're Signal, you really want to just stay in pace here with Choco Mucho and end it in four. Yeah, and you did have firm hold after winning the two, first two sets. So you know you can. On the other hand, Choco Mucho, of course, riding on that win against Army, the five-setter that they played. They are riding on that momentum, and they do want that W because they want to be a part of that top four already. Or at least have a chance At to least make have it. a chance. Still alive. Chang again. This time, Basas does the job. Nunag with a save there. Chang again. Oh! And Cez Molina was there, but she couldn't get the ball up. And Desiree Cheng now with 11 points. Talagang umarangkada si Des Cheng starting with the third set. And just playing it smart. Look at that. We have a timeout. Guys, nakita nila yung weakness natin, you know? So adjust tayo, ha? Oh, galaw, galaw, galaw. Galaw, galaw, galaw. Galaw, galaw, galaw. Size of a five point lead. This is something we did not see in the first three sets. Choco Mucho leading this big uh, at this point of the game. They're already at 18. And Signal acknowledges that they have a weakness. Yeah, they can sense that Choco Mucho has been. Following a, a plan right now, reading their weakness. If you want to pinpoint Signal's weakness, I mean, you're going to talk about their receive and their digs. You know, talaga yung kanilang pinaka Achilles heel, so to speak. That is where they lag when it comes to the standings. Yeah, well, well that's the reason also why Signal brought in Via General, you know, to try the man or to assist in manning the floor defense. Good serve. Des Cheng again will go up. Passes with a cover. Dakis. Ball is stopped. 
Florentino from the back row. It's just so dependable. And you know why see, see, Dina Wong really takes advantage of Tolentino when she's on the back there. Because parang gamay na gamay na ni Kat. Yeah, we've seen that. We've oh, seen that. That's a familiar sight with Kat Tolentino. Really stopped by Dina Wong. All goes there by Ponce. But the net got in the way. I'm looking at uh, Dina Wong actually because she tried to receive that. She's pointing at Micah Ortiz because, you know, yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, there are certain responsibilities that, okay, it's the libero supposed to get the second ball. But, you know, sometimes whoever's closest to the ball, it doesn't matter who you are or what position you play. Oh, that's right. And Jack Ayuna, well, Signal needed that. He needed that shot in the arm. Very timely service ace from Jel Cayuna. Yeah, they're just down by three. And again, no, if you're signal, you're down by three points here, but you're still ahead two sets to one, so you got to chase. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Choco Mucho happy about those errors coming from the side of signal. And we saw you see substitution here. See us back in the game. And now the pressure is on C to orchestrate the comeback for Signal. If they want to do it, they need to do it now because Choco Mucho is on a rampage here. They have maintained the lead all set long. That's true. But what trust Coach Shaq has with the veteran setter Giselle C. Molde with the help of the net. Ball still good. Another chance for Choco Mucho to set up. Ball there again. Oh, still alive. Still and alive. That's a double contact. Oh. They're calling against Rachel Andakis. She oh. did hit the ball twice. And sharp eyes there. Well, Bye. We saw it looked like it was still a good ball. It's the One more time. Count it. One. Ah, yeah. Two, two, yeah. <laughs> two, three, two, four. Do <laughs> we have a timeout? Kaya kaya pang bulin yun. Ah, You know they want to extend this to a fifth, and signal whose lives are hanging in the balance. They want to stop Chocomucho now. Yeah. I mean, it's a five-point lead again. You never know what one good block can do for you, one good serve. And it's a reception that was a little too close to the net. And that, we know, is another weakness of signal. They're currently in number seven as a team in receive, so... Dito talaga makakakuha ng bentaha, bentahe. Ang Choco Mucho, ipasok lang nila yung mga serves nila and I think that's what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, plus, they're the ones being aggressive at the yeah. net. I mean, Mika Ortiz is just using her experience, you know, to, to read that and block that. Biggest lead of the game, six points for Choco Mucho. Oh! <laughs> and outside and really the breaks. You know, oh, they're calling it inside. <laughs> Look at this check. She's saying that is so inside. Sam Corrales is talking about the body language. And if you read this check, she is so sure about her serve. And she will get the call. They didn't need a challenge. I think the first referee overruled that. 23 16, Joko Mucho. Two points away from taking this fourth set and extending our game to a fifth decider here. Oh, oh and a service <laughs> ace! A service ace for Des Chang! Service ace number five! Wow! Getting her team to set point. Let's I mean, see. I mean, you love her way of thinking right now. She's just going for it. You know, she knows she's feeling it right now. And you can hear the crowd behind Des Chang. Ah! Oh, wow. <laughs> High risk, 
we saw it. We, we saw it. I mean, the, the light of the ball was really gonna not, not, not going to cross. So let's take a look at where Signal is at now. If you are Signal, you're gonna try all you can to end it in four sets because you need this win. But we're facing set point though. Oh, still alive. Oh! And that is all the hands of Jerry Malabanan. And look where we are now. You know, looking at the first two sets, going back to the first two sets, we didn't think we we're gonna get this far. But Chocomucho, as we said, had other plans to the delight of the fans of uh, Flying Titan and all of you volleyball lovers and out us. there. We are going to set five. 25-17 is how that one ended. We'll break it down after these. Bilog ang bola, we hear that all the time, and that doesn't ring true anymore today. I mean, look at this, look at the way the four sets have uh, gone down so far, Noreen. Well, now we can say, now we can say, you promised exciting volleyball, <laughs> good volleyball. Now we said we have come through, and I promise this fifth set is all on you guys now. I mean, the fans of Chocomucha, the fans of Signala, we're out of it now. We just wanted good volleyball. Long volleyball, yeah. and we got it. And in that fourth set, it's actually pretty much the same. We saw that that six that Coach Dante put in in the third set followed through. You know, in the fourth set, they played well. They took control. And if your signal, what do you learn? Is it doesn't end in two sets. Mm. You have to fight for that last set. I mean, yes, your opponents made the adjustments, the changes. How do you respond? You don't just give up. Little numbers here, attacks again. Who went Chocomucho's way? Obviously, whoever converts more, attacks more, will get the upper hand. We saw that in the first four sets, right? Blocking aces, we saw Chocomucho deschained yeah. with those great aces. Opponent's airs, it's pretty decent for, for both teams. Yeah. But right now, I will say, this is the fifth set. It's all on you guys. <laughs> Whoever you want to win, <laughs> we're for that. <laughs> we, again, look at the road to, to today and how these girls got here. Chocomucho just came off of a five-set win yeah. also. So it seems like these five-setters, they are never a never-say-die team here. Talagang, and where they are, they are two and two so far. That is their, their record. So they want to start uh, to see a winning season na. Uh -oh. so nilang, they want a, a, a W so that they look like they are winning. That's what they want. Signal, on the other hand, like we said, we've been talking about it earlier, they need to win if they want to keep playing. It's going to be determined today if uh, the rest of the season for them will just be uh, just really for their, yeah, for just for their improvement. You know, it's going to be hard for Signal to keep playing knowing that they have no more chance at the finals, considering they were the finalists in the last yeah, conference. Yeah. And, and of course, you know, these players right now, you're looking at them, you know. Mm -hmm. Molina, Dacus, they know they're better than one and four. Yeah. And now's the time to talk about the coaches. We haven't talked too much about them. Coach Shaq and Coach Dante and Lindsay I mean, how do you size these two coaches up and what do you think? How are they going to try to motivate their girls on each side to get the W? You know, Coach Dante is just the new, the new head coach of Chocomucho. You know there will be transition. There will be a transition. You will need, he will need more time with the girls, right? But for, for Coach Ak, it's the same. You have changes in your team, so. But that's that. That's I mean, that. the game's the game. When you're in the game, you forget about all the side story, sub story. And look at this. Uh, just uh, those two kills. That we saw, Those, the first points for either team were just fantastic. Ang bibilis ng mga dating first. We saw Doria with a put away. And then 
just a kill coming from Tokomucho also this time. Molina was trying to just outsmart Lisa Morgan there, but she was at the net, so that was a free point. I mean, she was there. She read it. It's just that, yeah, that mm. last touch of the net. Good serve. Walang kukurap. This is going to be quick. And the point, again, we're talking earlier about how really if you're going to challenge Signal, if you're going to look for their weak points, it's really in the reception and in the defense, the yes. digs. And that is what you want to exploit if you are Choco Mucho. Yeah, and what you want to correct if you are Signal. <laughs> yes, that's right. You don't want your opponent to exploit you. Rachel Andaki, she's blocked. Signal, another chance here. And that's a good idea for Chaito also with those strong fingers, just pushing that pull over. And you like that signal is starting Chaito Koso. Remember, she was the one who started the good playing of signal in the first set and in the second set. You rested her towards a third, fourth, fifth set. You want her to play big. 13 points so far for Chai. Rostoria with a serve. And that's an ace. Signal also with their share of aces. Yeah, and you know, we did notice also the team that serves well, meaning like one or two aces. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be five signal. One or two aces, they have the advantage in that set. Well, Rose Doria has four so far, so she might make it five. Oh, not this time. That's a good reception by Des Cheng. Ball right back. Choco Mucho, he's a ball there, put away again, which is a reliable cross court. And the force she put in that hit, right? I mean, you knew, you felt that she really wanted that point. And you want to mention now, Isa Molde is not the tallest of players. She yeah. lists herself as five foot five, but I it's really the power. Five six. Five six. <laughs> <laughs> Tumawad ka pa. Tumawad eh. Des Cheng going deep. Jack Janela was there. And we have a rally going. Chai Troncoso is oh. finding it. And Des Cheng couldn't handle it alone. Sam Corrales, you got a report for us. Both teams are really leaving it all out here on the floor and we're finally here for a fifth set. I wanted to give an update on the team that had a strong start in this match. We're talking about the Signal HE Spikers, but now faced with errors, it's Jack Jonella who stepped up and told her teammates in the huddle to shake it off, to shake off the pressure. And she also assured her teammates, Cesc Molina and Rachel Dacus, to trust in her defense, she could keep the ball up. Now, as for Coach Shaq's final reminder, just like Chakamucha, he emphasized blocking, specifically the timing of his middles. Back to you. Thanks so much for that, Sam Morales. You know, that was an entire rally that Sam talked to. It was a big one, <laughs> and I don't know if it's jitters or if it's the pressure. We saw Jelka Yuna there with a miss set, and that is a point for Chokomucho, who is training by just a point. Yeah, it was a miss set. Obviously, she was looking at the opponents, the blockers, and she, that, I mean, her decision was a shoot set, but yeah, that, it was the execution of that set. Oh. Blocking of Chokomucho is going well. Chen goes up. Blockers of Signal Challenge, that one too. Meneses, oh, that was smart. Really, Meneses knew exactly, it was so intentional. Muntik nang ma-sungkit ni Des Cheng. Pero nakita-kita ni Riri yung butas doon. I mean, we saw her. Yeah. Right, she knew where to put it. But the reflexes of Des, no? Pero hindi umabot. And that's a well-earned point for Signal. They're up by two. Rachel Andakis with a serve. Good serve. Uh, running it down. Oh! And look at Chai. Ball back to Choco Mucho. Check again. And Kayuna saves that one. Ponce with a dig. There's Chang with a dink. Good read by Chai Troncoso. Molina. Running attack by Ortiz. Akis was there. Oh. Chance ball. Ortiz again, and look at Molina. Just calm as a cucumber. 
Reza Landakis from back row. Rally goes on. Cheng. Oh! oh it is Cheng. We credit Cheng for getting Choco Mucho to this point, to playing in set number five, and she comes through again for her team right when she needed to. Yeah, but what a rally. I mean, great rally for both teams. It's sad. Someone has got to get that point there if you can award it to both teams. And Cess Molina there just gets it through the two-man block. Just sheer power coming from Cess. And Signal maintains a two-point lead. It's just a seesaw battle here in this fifth set. Nothing like the way the first two sets, or the first four sets actually, went down. We saw Signal completely dominating. Choco Mucho in the first two sets, and the reverse happened for set oh. three and four, and now it is just a neck and neck here. Boy, what a time for that service error. I mean, you said it. We are neck and neck. You don't want to see these service errors at this point. Des Cheng is serving well in the fourth set. She has four aces already, and let's see what she comes up with. Every set, every serve, every hit, crucial oh. for both teams here. Back set to Tolentino. Ponce chases that one down. Moldes, block, check, getting up. Ayuna, credit her for that one. That's a fight with Bora. Yeah, Bora. That, that was a huge block. You can stop on the side of Signal. They get three points first. And we switch sides here. Again, this is a... Something that we missed. Stay with us for our second match of the day between the Petrograd's Angels and the Empty This is just a nip and tuck affair here to the delight of the fans here at the Phil Sports Arena. I'm sure all of you at home enjoying this too. For those of you just getting home from work and enjoying the action, it was a lopsided first and second set uh, for Signal. The scores there. 25-14, 25-11. Tapos bumalik naman ang Choco Mucho. 25-19, 25-17 in favor of the uh, Flying Titans for sets three and four. And here we are, exactly where you volleyball fans <laughs> wanted to be. Yeah, more volleyball action. But again, you know, whoever wins this has a chance. Actually, both teams. If Choco Mucho loses, they still have a chance. Yes. So, but of course, a slim, a slim. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So the importance of this match, really. No, that was a over receive. And Dory, if you want to do with that one, three point advantage for Signal. Yeah, that was an overpass. And we have a timeout. One good receive lang, and kailangan natin mag-target mamaya pag serve tayo para makastop tayo. Okay, sige, 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 sige. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, Titan! And now is the time we will see Cedardina Wong working under pressure. We saw Coach Dante giving her precise instructions, and it's all up to the center now really to execute. We know that she has to orchestrate the plays, and uh, all of that is on the shoulders of Dina Wong, who has been consistent yeah. all throughout today. Also, I'm sure Coach Dan is reminding the girls, really, it's more of you work so hard to get to this point, you know, just to let it slip away. So you have to fight. Don't let Signal get three points. Make them fight for every point. And that's a broken play. But Isa Molde makes do. Molina. Molina. Ah. trying, but Molina. Um, cool as a cucumber, as we said earlier. Parang wala lang keses. And talagang her composure, her maturity, that is what you see at this point. And with it's signal pulling away already. And it's crucial moments. Yeah. You know that these stars are the ones who's gonna shine right now. And she is just all business. But so is Lisa Molde. 
Again. Oh, all day. Again. Really, you know, she's playing so different mm -hmm. in the last three sets. But really so reliable. There are no frills. She just no goes frills. for it, goes for the attack. And, and she's showing us that she can be successful with those strong attacks, not just those drops. One-handed oh. set again. That was a difficult one. Starting off with a good oh, serve it was a too much for Signal. We had the receptions of Signal. Mucho now just two points behind. We have a timeout. Okay. Our next goal natin. One good pass ulit. Tapos atake tayo na Maya. So, up tayo ng two. Break lang natin yung momentum. Kailangan makuha muna natin ito. Okay? So, itong timeout na ito. Kailangan tayo yung create ng puntos natin. Ha? Okay. Guys! Okay. Mas huwag natin, huwag na, huwag na tayo magmamadali ha. Yung kung paano tayo gumalaw ng tama at normal, okay? Guys, gusto natin ito ha, pagtawanguhan. Yes! Okay, one stop, one stop. We heard it from Rachel Antakis, the team captain of Signal. It really now comes down to their, just their desire and uh, just their will to win. And Signal, just, they have to just guard their lead here. It's a two-point lead. They have to hang on. And they have to hang on. Oh. And that one is just all power. Yes, Molina, like you said, yeah. it's crucial. She's all business. You know, and you can see really the trust that Tayuna has with Sesman Molina. When we need a point at crucial moments, we give it to you. Here's a chance for Choco Mucho. The reliable Isa Molde off the block. Isa Molde is so smart. She knows that she's going up against a powerhouse blocking team. And aral na aral na niya. She knows what to do. Just swipe it off of their hands because they're going to challenge you. And you can see her attitude, the way she goes up, really. Walang takot. Walang takot. And you know that she's all business, not, you know, iffy. I'll try to hit mm. it. She's, she means business. That's a good reception there by Rad. Oh. And a conversion there for Doria. That's what that one good pass does. You know, he need to go chat. And signal in a comfortable position here with a three point advantage. We are first to 15 in this fifth set. And this is crunch time for Choco Mucho. If they want to play catch up, they need to do it now. It was such an effort for Choco Mucho to get to this point. They don't want to squander that effort. Let's see if they can get a stop here. Lisa Molde just rolling that ball over there. Oh, speed and look at Chai. Messages of set one volleyball for Signal. This is what they looked like when they were playing the first set. Well, that's why she's there, you know. She started it this uh, Signal play and she's here to end it. Pero kailangan natin makareceive mula. One stop din. I-try natin ulit lagi. Pag three spikers, sinasabi ko sa inyo, pag, mulang, pag walang pumapatong, magpukumit. Pag may pumapatong, mag-re-block. Yun lang ang gagawin natin. Okay? One good receive lang tayo, ha? Sige, sige, sige. Oh, 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 And it's really a wonder how Coach Dante Alitsimurin is able to keep <laughs> calm and composed at this juncture of the game. This is the kind of vibe that she has to, uh, uh, that he has to, uh, I guess, infect his girls with. Because they have to really be focused, right? And they have to be really aware of what's going on on the court. He had some reminders there for the blockers. Kung may patong, at kung wala, they really just know what to do depending on what signal will dish out. Well, one last push. Talking about Choco Mucho. Molde again, and she does the job. Well, she's, uh, she's rallying her squad here in the fifth set, that's all I can say. It's been Isa Molde and Kat Tolentino, both with 17 points already today. And now the all-important serves. They need to have steady, safe serves, oh. and that's a good one. A chance here for Choco Mucho. 
to score. It's a easy one for Signal. Ball back to Signal. They will set up again, and that's a broken play. Oh, <laughs> short one. Jerry Luna goes there. There's Cheng sending it back to Cesc Molina. Troncoso blocked. Still alive. Doc is going up, but blocking. Again, working for Choco Mucho. But this is a good rally. Oh, Still oh, alive. Oh. Oh. Not quite. Look at Jerry Luna there with the foot away. And really, just the concentration, the focus. Coach Dante, just make sure you know what you're doing, yeah. you're aware of what's going on. Just the court sense and the awareness. But look at this rally, down to the last minute, you can never tell if so. it's still ongoing or not. We have another timeout. Running tres dulo. Kasi si, ano yung nandito? Si Wong Tinasara. Okay, Dan? Okay, nga, nga, nga. Okay, Dan? Okay, okay, okay. Isang magandang atake lang, ha? Yun yung play natin. Running three, dulo. And we listen to the huddle on the side of Signal, and they're not forgetting that they are in the lead, so they're riding on that and they're reminding themselves of that. Yeah, they, you know, they're just two points away from, you know, adding to their lifeline here. Uh -oh. <laughs> Rachel Andakis, wow! Really masterful playing here by Rachel Andakis. Just spotting that goal in zone one, going down the line. Perfect execution for the veteran. And you remember in the first set, she was doing that. How fitting it is that here in the fifth set, she brings her, her team to match point. Just 100% adrenaline yeah. flowing for Signal. Here's a chance for Chocomucho. This is set point, match point for Signal. And that's good enough, and Rachel Dacis knows it. Signal winning in this game in five sets. What a roller coaster ride we had here, Maureen. But Signal needed this um, this win, partner, oh, we have this, okay? <laughs> We're not done yet, partner. There's I, a challenge. I am, I, <laughs> it is uh, contagious, you know, the adrenaline coming from Rachel and Danis. Let's see. <laughs> of course, you know, if you're Choco Mucho, why not? You have challenge nothing to it. lose. <laughs> challenge it. But Danis is guaranteeing Kochak, no? I, I did not touch the touch ball. The I did the net. Oh, well, I mean, to be honest, we're right in front of the net. It really didn't look like yeah. it was uh, a problematic cha um, block by Dakis. But let's wait for the official result. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. One more time. Ooh, no. no touch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I had to stop you. We're not yet done, JT. <laughs> no, but really, all told, it was a great first game that we brought to all of you here. I mean, this is what uh, the Premier Volleyball League is about. And we show the hearts of both of all of these players, you know, and really just giving their all and giving the fans a real ride today. Yeah, much appreciated effort by both teams and the implication actually of this game is Signal is still alive, so is Choco Mucho. Yes. <laughs> Nobody, walang uuwing luhaan yeah. araw na ito, and that's what we wanted to see. 15-11, so it was, uh, it was close when it started, but then Signal pulled away, just remembering what they had to do. They had a mission today, and it was to stay alive in this conference and to make the rest of their games count. It's gonna be the same situation mm -hmm. for every game following this one for both Chocomucho and Signal now. Every game is going to be crucial for them from this point on. We are going to turn it over now with Sam Corrales with Noringo's chosen player of the game.
Joining us now is our player of the game. We have Rachel Ann Dakis, the team captain of the Signal HD Spikers. Congratulations on this huge win. Obviously, napakataas ng energy ninyo. Ate Rachel, can you tell us what was going through your mind sa fifth set na iyon? May challenge pa sa dulo, but how were you able to overcome that slump at nabalik ninyo ang winning ways ng Signal? Siyempre, lagi kong nire-remind yung teammates ko, yung team namin na gusto namin to, kaya paghihirapan namin to, pagtatrabahuhan namin to. And ayun, yun yung naging resulta ng game. Basta kami, we will do our best, magtitiwala kami. Through ups and down, lalaban namin tong team na to. And ayun, sobrang hindi naman dahil ano, one-man effort to, kundi buong team. Kaya saludo talaga ako sa Team Signal. And speaking of your teammates, lalong lalo na sa dulo, nandiyan talaga yung composure, especially from the veterans. You have uh, Ate Ses Malina and Jack Janela. Just yes. yun as well, mga teammates mo dati sa FU. What can you say about their effort sa panalo na ito? Siyempre nga, sabi ko nga, hindi siya one-man team. So, team effort talaga daw from coaches, players, and yung management na namin na walang sawang sumusuporta sa amin. Sobrang salamat sa pagtitiwala niyo po sa amin. And sa mga sumusuporta po sa Signal, maraming maraming salamat po. Alright, and there you have it, our player of the game, Team Captain Rachel Andakis of the Signal HD Spikers. Thanks so much, Sam. Thanks so much, Rachel Andakis. Congratulations to Team Signal, who is still alive. And on behalf of my partner, Noreen Go, Sam Corrales, our courtside reporter, our director, Al Neri and all of the men and women of One Sports. Thanks for joining us. More volleyball to come up next. Petrogas against the F2 Logistics. <laughs>